Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pet Picture Channel. I am John, and this is me. And today we're going to be trying some candy. We're going to be trying uh, a Japanese candy. Um, I'm not sure if there's like a general name for this type of candy. It's a uh, Maybe it's just called agar agar candy. It's made of seaweed, uh, but they turn it into little chewy, crunchy candies. And I found both of these on social media um, advertising, like back to back. Uh, as far as I could find out, they're not related to each other in any way. Not really my research. They're just two companies that happen to make very similar items. And I couldn't find anything else at any other company, so apparently these are the only two companies that make them that I know so far. The first company is called Masaki Tokyo, and they make these crystal treats. Yeah, because and there's like so many of them, so many of them, but I, I know you guys you ate this before. Yes. And um, so they specialize in these agar agar candies. Um, they form them into blocks and then they like chisel them away until they look like little crystals like this one here. And the last one is... The second company we're doing is called Silky Gem. You can see they have the same kind of thing where they take the candy and they chisel but it away. But what, what you Shapes. Would you guys eat it of this, these ones or these ones? Please comment below and like up the subscribe button. That's right. So, uh, what one should we try first? Masaki or Silky Gem? Masaki. Okay. So, I bought like a, one of the cheaper uh, assortment packs you can get. From Masaki, you can get the one where they actually send you these cutoffs. So they make shapes like this little teardrop shape. And they kind of like hand carve it with knives. And then these are little shavings that fall off that don't make shapes. And then you can buy these from them. Yeah, because these are little bags. We're going to try the shape though. Because this is kind of like what you buy. When you get all the... When you buy this pack, they do give you one actual real. Yeah, shape. and they look so very rubber like little of the video of right up, 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 and it gets down, and you eat it like, or, or you share it like, eat it and eat it with your person. Right. So, I think these have like flavors added to them. Added to them. But it doesn't, uh, none of the packages have like what flavor they are, so you're not going to know what the flavor is. But, no. Chocolate. I don't really smell too much. There you go, it's like a little teardrop. You want to take the first bite? Crispy. Crispy? So I know when you first buy them, they're supposed to be a little more soft in the middle. You like, you have to break it apart. It's like crispy on the outside, mm. but then it's like a little bit of like jelly almost on the inside. It's a little bit yucky. It's a little bit yucky? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It has like a, a hint of a seaweedy flavor to it. But you see this part? It's kind of like crispy. Yeah, it's like crispy on the outside, but like almost gummy bear like on the inside. Um. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. So this one, I don't feel like it had a specific like flavor to it. It just kind of tasted somewhat sweet. Actually, you have a list inside here, and that said the jade color is a matcha flavor. Now that I know it is matcha, I can kind of taste 
a green tea matcha flavor. Now thing. let's go with this one now. What other colors do we have? What's this color? Blue. So this should be lavender flavor. Yeah, lavender flavor. This one almost like they have little chunky bits inside of it mixed in. This one is. I think this is hibiscus cranberry. It kind of really looks green, but you kind of really taste it, and and it tastes and you taste it, and it looks like grass flavor. That looks like it's the matcha flavor. And this one. It's kind has, of weak. Really it's kind of like gold. I think that's this one. It's yuzu flavor. Yeah, it's yuzu. Which is supposed to be like a citrusy yolk of lemony. A little picture of like how it's made. They cut it into those pieces. Um, before we try another one, let's go ahead and try one of the silky gems. Um, it's the same kind of thing. It's Agar agar, and it shows like different like things they have. Um, this one, it didn't have like a cutoff uh, selection, so I just got a, one of the cheaper ones that have a, an assortment. That These ones, they all have the flavors on them, like strawberry, honeydew, matcha, mango, pear, hibiscus, black currant. Passion fruit mango and white chocolate mint. Which one do you want to try? Hmm. You know this one? This one is hibiscus and blueberry. You want to try that one? Yes. Okay. Let's open it up. They all come with these little things that's for absorbing moisture. So this pack, like, it's shapes. Um, they do have ones that you that are like more gems or different shapes. This one, uh, I think, this one of the cheaper ones is just kind of like blocks. How is it? And spicy, old, tasty dye. Yeah. Yeah. And kids, do you see these? Things that are golden. Yeah, it's like a golden glitter almost. When you taste it, it kind of really looks like a black crap. Oh, this one, this one just smells, smells like. Smells not like blueberry. You can tell, like, there's like an outer crispy edge and an inner gummy bear. I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna take a bite. Let me get it out. Mm. This one has less of the seaweed flavor than the sake ones had. This one's more. When, but this tastes like a, a gummy candy. The, the blueberries are pink now. Mm, I like that. It's very. Very crisp on the outside, but not like a stale crisp. It like crunches up. And the middle is very gummy. It's like a very soft gummy. Yeah. Like it wouldn't hold up by itself without that outer crisp. But and there's no difference from the inside to the outside. It's just as it ages. Gets that crispy exterior. But it's like a, a slow jello, like jello, 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 jello. It's like jello. It is kind of like jello, yeah. So the Misaki ones, they tend to be more crystal shaped, like hand carved. They want it to look like little gems. The Silky gem has more like unique shapes. There's hearts, there's like just like sticks that have these little cluster pieces, which looks like they take the cast off pieces and they kind of group it together in a little cluster. And they have like special crystal ones where it's like 
one flavor as like the base, and they pick other flavors and make accents to it. Very interesting. Which one do you think tasted better, the masaki one or the silky gin one? Um, this one. Yeah. Okay. Actually, the silky gem one better. Uh, yeah, the yeah. combination between the crispy edge and the gummy interior was better for me. You want to try another flavor in one of them? Yeah. Which one? You want to try one of these ones, or do you want to try one of these in this box? You want to try this one? Yeah. Okay, so these are more cast off pieces. Uh, since they're smaller, they're going to be basically all crispy crunchy and none of the gummy interior. Your hand. They probably smell like gummy. It smells um, kind of like kind of jelly. That's what that. Yeah, this is like this was cranberry. I could taste the cranberry. There's actually little dry cranberries inside of it. It's red. It's like. Yeah. You definitely taste the cranberry. But again, for some reason, the masaki one that seaweedy flavor comes out. That's not a bad thing. Seaweed can taste good. But like if you want to have when it tastes just like candy in general, I think the silky gems are actually better than that. The cereals like them. It, he likes like them. Yeah. You want some more? Mm -hmm. But they kind of really like bang, bang, bang. Kind of like bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Like the bang, bang song. Bang, bang, bang. Here we go. That was more flavorful than the other one. I think it's just the, the cranberry flavor. Actually, more powerful than the matcha flavor. I got the white. The white. Let's save those three for later. We'll try one more of these, okay? Pick another color. Just one. The pink one? Yeah. Okay, this one is. Strawberry flavor. Yeah, it's like woo. That woo woo woo. Watermelon. Does it smell like watermelon? Yeah. It should smell like strawberry. Again, crispy exterior, <coughs> jello-y gummy interior. This also has those little goldy flakes in it too. And then this one white. It's much lighter flavor than the blueberry one. But you still get strawberry out of it. Maybe it depends on flavor to flavor which one's stronger than the other. And guys, have you ever seen this flavor before? Please comment below in the like button. Thank you. So, I would say they're both interesting. I don't think necessarily one is better than the other. I think it just, what are you more looking for? Um, the Masaki Tokyo ones are more gem-shaped crystals. They look like diamonds and rubies and whatnot. I think they just offer the same thing, but in different forms. If you're looking for just more treat flavor, I think Silky Gem might be a little better in that way. But I haven't tried everything. Each one of them so uh, I do think Silky Gems has more 
diverse like shapes they have, like stars and hearts and all those kind of things. Uh, we only had one like large shape for the Misaki one, so it's hard for me to like judge it all together, but with the one I've had, the Suki Gem one has a more a better ratio of crunchy to jello. What do you think? Yeah. Like of uh, these ones are kind of lean more thicker than the other ones. That's true. Alright. So I think we're done with the review. Is there anything else you want to tell the people? Mm-hmm. What do you want to tell them? It's kind of lean. Everyone mo- more more videos have a thumbs up. Yes. Or everyone more can you get a thumbs down. Okay. All right, everyone. Well, this has been the uh, channel done, Rudy. Thank you for watching another candy review with us, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye.